Welcome to the stage, Jerry Carroll. Hooray! And welcome, thank you for coming to see my show, and welcome to you, the best audience in the world, who, uh, who laugh a lot, clap a lot, don't interrupt, and uh, don't leave before the end. Hooray! Okay, so, uh, yes, um, here we go. This is my show. Uh, my tech is not here today. I have just... Oh, one, two, three. Hop one two three hop hop one two hop 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 one two three hop hop I I I I I'll be completely out of breath if I continue that. So, uh, uh, a man in my position, dressed as a man in my position, position one was that Irish dancing. So, position, position one. Uh, I, uh, I'll just take my backpack off while I, while I do a little bit of stand-up. So uh, I wrote this stand-up about Facebook a long time ago when uh, I'll just wait for a minute uh, when you had to get up out of bed every morning to go onto Facebook and you typed in your status and you said I'm feeling good and some people oh, I did this some people who would like to be rebellious and stick it to the man Facebook says how are you feeling and they say none of your business and then that's on their Facebook status all day none of your business and nobody knows what they're talking about nobody realizes that they're they're sticking it to the man to to facebook but uh, yeah so uh, uh now of course you use your phone you just type in your status on your phone and that's uh, that, uh, that that's much easier and uh, yesterday i read that in the 1800s they used to punish prisoners by making them wear a cap that came right down over their eyes like a plague doctor and they had to walk around with this and so that they couldn't speak to each other. They didn't want prisoners speaking to each other. Now, of course, they don't let prisoners have mobile phones. They don't have this cap either. But we all go around like this, without the cap, staring at our mobile phones, not talking to each other. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's try this again. Um, uh, the thing about Facebook is it's all right now when it's, it's voluntary. You just tell it what your status is. And, and you know, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm all tied up. I'm feeling something. Uh, but uh, in a few years, it's going to make it, it's going to be compulsory. And you, instead of typing in your status, you'll be looking at your thing and it'll say, I'm feeling a bit sad today. And you'll have to go around all day feeling sad. And if you don't, if you, if you smile, your phone will know and it'll go, give you an electric shock. And it's a, uh, you know, but uh, yes, yeah, so Mark Zuckerberg, a few years ago, he patented the letter F, F for Facebook. You have to, cop it's copyright. You have to pay him to use the letter F. And uh, to that, all I can say is, fuck you, Zuckerberg, fuck you. <laughs> and now he's, now, he, now he's changed the name of his, that's not going to work. He's changed the name of his company to Metaverse. So uh, now I have to say, "Uck you, Zuckerberg, you other ucker!" And uh, uh, of course, with <laughs> Russia invading Ukraine and using the Z as a kind of a, a, a symbol, we shouldn't use the letter Z. We should avoid it. Uh, uh, so I'll, I'll say, "Ucker you, Zuckerberg, you, you, you other ucker," which is, uh, and, 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 uh, but it gets really difficult. Oh, I think I've done it. It gets really difficult if you try to boy. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> it gets really difficult if you try to boycott Alpha, uh, Google because Google is owned by Alphabet and if you boycott Alphabet <laughs> anyway yeah so uh, my foxes foxes having sex my neighbor came up to me and he, he, I, I said to him can you hear the foxes having sex they're having sex all night lucky devils and they, they, they never stop and uh, I can't get to sleep and, and he said oh well yeah I've uh, I've sorted that out you know I've uh, I, I, I found a way to to stop that and uh, he said uh, 
what, what, what you do is, uh, what I do, he says, is I get this KY jelly and you, you put it on the fox before you have sex. And it's, uh, it's uh, mm, mm. but he, uh, he never explained, never explained how you catch the fox in the first place. I, I don't know, I, I wouldn't want to anyway, I, I, nothing like that would, nothing like that would go on. And uh, finally, in this part, I, as a prequel, prequel, this is a prequel, uh, a pre, 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 it's not a callback. It's a prequel, um, and uh, Botox. How they invented Botox? They uh, there was this there was this uh, a brother and sister called Seamus and Maureen. They were they were Irish, but they lived in Germany, or they were German, but they had Irish names. Whatever. Uh, and, and their aunt their aunt owned a chemical factory, and they said, "Well, she's not making she's not making use of that chemical factory. We could make much more money if we owned that chemical factory. We'd be millionaires." So they 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 got this uh, they got this poison called botulin and they slipped it into her drink and she died and uh, they looked at her and they said look she's 94 and she looks like she's 24 and they said my god we won't be millionaires we'll be billionaires we've invented botox oh there's a bit about botox later on but i have a i have had a letter from a, a company of lawyers to explain asking me to explain to you that botox was developed as a result of uh, a, a scientific process in the laboratory uh, with experiments and scientists and by no means connected with the murder and asking me to point that out to you and uh, I'll ask you to sign a thing on the way out to say that I've actually told you that because I don't want to have to pay. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, one bit, yes, the, the watch, the watch. Uh, so you get, see a baby with a watch. And at first, there's a little, little, very little baby downstairs. Now, if you gave that baby the watch, it wouldn't, it would probably stare at it. It might stare. You know, eventually, you see its eyes following the watch. Then, it's, its face is following. It's really interested in the watch. And later on, it'll try grabbing at it. Then it'll be a toddler and it'll go around playing with the watch. It'll go, hey, hey, hey. And you look at the baby, or I look at the baby. Well, you look at the baby and you say, <laughs> you think you're playing with that watch. But that watch, that watch is your boss. It's playing with you. As a few years later, the baby has to go to preschool. And it's, come on, come on, it's a time to go now, time to go, come on. And a few years later, it's school, come on, you'll be late. And then it's, uh, you've been late three times this week. And it's, uh, you're doing your exam. Go, I, I, how long have I got left? Oh. And then you go to work, you've been late three times this week. And then, uh, Years and years pass. Oh my God, what, what time is it? And uh, when you retire, they give you a watch. And they say, now you've got, here's a watch. So you can look at the time all the time and see how bored you are when you're retired. And then eventually somebody comes along and says, ooh. And that's that. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, You have to be brought, well, it's not you anymore, but you're brought along to your own funeral. And the watch is finished. Unless you turn into an angel. <laughs> and uh, then you're, uh, yes, and, uh, I am, I am be, I'm between two nursing homes. When I was born, babies were born in nursing homes. First they were born at home, then they were born in nursing homes. Then they were born in hospitals, now they're being born at home again. So uh, I'm really between two nursing homes. Uh, so my family is here, I have to be nice to them because uh, they'll be putting me in the next nursing home. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so uh, the uh, McGonagall's bit. I used to go to a club in Dublin called McGonagall's. It was a rock club and we were terrible snobs. You two never played there because they, well, you, we wouldn't have gone. They were co too commercial as were the Boomtown Rats. I think they played once. Uh, but we liked Berlin and uh, Rocky de Valera and the Gravediggers, all the, the obscure groups. Once I read in the newspaper that uh, the, the way to get high in Barcelona, I don't know why it's Barcelona, but was to have lots of white wine and weed. So I did. I had lots of white wine and weed. Vaguely remember putting a hat or taking a hat off the, the lead singer in the rock group, Rocky de Valera. And uh, then I woke up. This was years ago. And uh, it was a dull, grey room, a horrible bed. 
I was in casualty department of the Mead Hospital. Hospitals didn't all look alike in those days. They were all bright and, and painted. And uh, there was a nurse there, and she was very severe. She said, do you do this kind of thing often? Because I passed out, apparently. I, I, I didn't remember. I said, no, no, no. I, I, my false teeth are gone. Have you found my false teeth? No, I haven't found your false teeth. And it was Sunday, Sunday uh, lunchtime by now, and I was going to see my parents for, 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 for dinner. And I thought, oh, I can't go to my parents. I said, how can I explain my false teeth? Well, no, right, I've lost my false teeth. I, I went back to McGullagh's, it was just around the corner. And uh, there was an afternoon gig on, so I, I went in. I said, hey, have you found any false teeth in here? I said, no, no, you didn't find any false teeth. Oh, the black plastic bags are over there. You can, you can go through them. And so desperate, desperately going through the black plastic bags. Uh, 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 one, two, I will eat the air in the third one. There they were, uh, with the wine bottles and the cigarettes you could do, uh, you could smoke indoors in those days. Uh, 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 there they were, I poured some wine over them, cleaned them up. Ah, oh, oh, I can go home to my mummy now. Hello, mummy. I'm, 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 I'm fine, thank you, yes. Uh, and uh, I'm sure she could smell the vomit and all that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, they're not the same false teeth. This was many years ago. They're, they're different ones. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, so uh, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, so, uh, right. Uh, the uh, bilingual part of my act, uh, uh, French. Uh, Oi, qu'est-ce que vous faites dans ma piscine? English. Hey, what are you doing in my swimming pool? French. <laughs> English. Nothing. French. Je pense que vous faites, vous faites quelque chose dans ma piscine. I think you're doing something in my swimming pool. French. Uh, um, English. I'm not doing anything. Uh, 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 French. Est-ce que vous avez pissé dans ma piscine? English. Are you pissed in my swimming pool? <laughs> French. C'est pire que cela. English. It's worse than that. <laughs> C'est une journée de deux merdes. It's a two-poo day, hey! and I'm feeling very chuffed. Three is just too many, and one is never enough. It's a two-poo day. What a, how, how exciting is that? Well, when you get to my age, you have to be excited about something. And, uh, well, a two-poo day in a French swimming pool, that would be, that would be really exciting. So, uh, yes, position, my next position, my next, my next position, position four. Oh, God, he's back at this again. Yes. But, uh... I've learned my limitations with this. Uh, River Dance tribute to Lord of the Rings. So, River Dance, hop one, two, three, four. Uh, Lord of the Rings. It's all about wizards and elves and dwarfs and hobbits are guys that have hair on their feet. But it's terribly long and it's awfully slow and it goes on for hours and 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 hours. It's awfully long and it's terribly slow and it goes on for hours and hours. Throw the ring in Mount Doom and let me go home. My legs have gone numb and I can't feel my bum. Oh, don't let the... Oh, don't let that dwarf sing another song. Oh, the bloody dwarf singing again. And it goes on for hours and hours and hours. Anyway, you get the idea. River dance tribute to Lord of the Rings. I believe that... Uh, the writer of Lord of the Rings used to read bits from Lord of the Rings. Hello. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I was just explaining the last bit, which you missed. But uh, the guy who wrote Lord of the Rings, J.R. Tolkien, used to read his chapters uh, to his friends, his, uh, the other Oxford professors in the pub. And uh, apparently, as he was reading one, came to a new chapter, one of the professors said, oh God, not another fucking dwarf. <laughs> and, uh, that's the best, the best tribute, uh, best criticism of Lord of the Rings that I have heard. It's, uh, it's not, yes, uh, um, come for the comedy, listen to the poems. I, you've come just in time to hear my poems. They're, they are beautiful, but they're beautiful poems. And they're, they're written out, not because I'm too stupid to remember them, but because poets always read their poems aloud. The numbers game. You're not too old for anything. You're not too young to try. The time is right. The day is to win. Tonight's your special night. It's here and now. We're going high. We're doing what we choose. Forget the numbers as we fly. We're not going to lose. They say it's just a number. 
Then they say that number's you. They say it's not important, but it tells you what to do. It's nothing but some crooked lines darkening a page. It's not your name or who you are. That number is just your age. This is where the angels are, and no one asks your name. There is no set, there are no tabs, you're always center stage. You're not waiting for your scene and place, you haven't missed your cue. The spotlight's always on your face, the star of your show is you. There isn't any past to hide, the future is not to fear. It's all around you, look inside, your forever moment's here. For half your life you're just too young, then you're mutton dressed as lamb. Too young for this, too old for that, I wonder who I am. It's just a little number, and a number can be halved, or doubled if you want to, or trebled, see it's daft, to let a little number put you in a cage, just make it up, invent it, when they say, act your age. Yes. Ooh, that was, uh, uh, since writing that, I've realized that that bit about doubling your age, or trebling your age, or halving it, if I were to treble my age, I'd be 210. That's, uh, nobody wants that. <laughs> My love poem to London transport. London transported. Let's run away to not in service where the darkened buses go. And on we'll ride to the check front of train, the most secret place I know. We'll go as far as service cancelled because of lack of staff and run along the yellow line. <laughs> That'll be a laugh. There's always room on the upper deck of my heart for my turtle dove. CCTV is in constant use for recording of our love. You won't return empty to depot, you'll always be special to me. I give 24-hour service, just like the 243. I'll go as far as Zone 10 for you, or where special fares apply. I'll take the train from Waterloo, or the cable car in the sky. <laughs> That's my, my love poem to, to, uh, to, yes, right. Um, actual stand-up. <laughs> um, right. I'm 69. My, <laughs> my time's nearly up. Uh, I, I've got a few minutes to, to, to have a laugh. I, know. Um, I don't want to die on stage. I don't want to join, join the 69 club. <laughs> it's bigger than the 27 club, but it's, it's not as interesting. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I dye my hair, well, that's another way I could dye on stage, but maybe not, maybe, maybe not a good idea. But, uh, they, they, have, they have amazing names, these, uh, these hair, hair colours. You know, there's uh, Firebomb Red, there's Spanked Arse Pink, and uh, this is my favourite, this is Pensioner's Sex Face, this one. Uh, the only trouble with, uh, with uh, dyeing my hair is that uh, I have to cover it up when I go out shoplifting because nobody sees you when you're 69. They 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 just they notice the hair. So that's uh, but uh, I uh, so all, all all I do is I pop the old hat on and uh, no one can see me. I, I did get caught once. I was uh, just putting a tube of steridant, that's for cleaning false teeth, in my pocket. I realised there was a a tall, skinny man all dressed in black, looming over me. Ah, is my time up? But it, was, uh, it was just the uh, security guard. He, I'm 69, you know. <laughs> when is the dancing starting? See, he put me outside on the street. I was, it was early morning. The birds were walking around. They were uh, eating the food the kind people had left for them. You know how people go out late at night and they, they buy burgers and chips and they... Uh, they half digest them and leave them on the pavement for the birds to eat. It's, it's, they're, re they're really kind. It's, it's, it's very good. But uh, yeah, so uh, when you get to, to my age, start forgetting things. <laughs> when is the da Oh, I've done that bit. Uh, now, um, yeah, so I get around it by writing on my hand. Uh, the trouble is, is sometimes I, I, I read off the wrong hand. So uh, yesterday in the phone shop, I said, uh, uh, difficulty passing water, uh, constantly itching genitals, <laughs> and uh, strange flea-like creatures. 
And the woman in the phone shop was going, oh, oh. <laughs> of course that wasn't, that wasn't for the phone shop, that was for the doctor. <laughs> for the vet, it was for the vet, not the doctor, uh, for the vet. Uh, anyway, at the phone shop I should have been saying, uh, alarm goes off at 11.15 every morning, I uh, can't change the alarm, the time, can't change the alarm tone, it plays Come On Baby Light My Fire by the doors. It's very embarrassing at funerals. I, I've, I've been banned from three of the local crematoriums. Uh, so, uh, people can laugh at that, but uh, that's, uh, that's my social life gone. Uh, where am I going to go on the pull now? I can't go to the crematorium. But any, anyway, yeah, so um, actually I'm, a, I'm not a real comedian. I'm, uh, I'm a community support comedian. It means I'm not tall enough. So I walk around your neighborhood uh, trying to look important. And uh, if you laugh, uh, I'm supposed to wait for a real comedian to come along. But if, if you don't laugh, I am allowed to taser you. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, um, yeah, that's just, it's not logical. It's not logical at all. Uh, but yes, I have, uh, I have used Botox in the past, and uh, I, 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 made up, I made up this, this rap about Botox, because Botox freezes up your skin, your face. And where does all that energy go that should go into expressing emotions? Oh, you can't do that anymore. So uh, I, I, uh, I made up this rap. My eyes don't move, but you should see me groove. I'm the Botox guy. My skin is tight as a drum, but look at my bum. I'm the Botox guy. My face don't work, but you should see me twerk. I'm the Botox guy. I offered that to Botox in the, uh, 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 just say sorry for, for the other bit about Botox, they, 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 they never got back. Anyway, uh, the, uh, I, uh, another dum da da dum da da dum da dum dum da da dum da da dum da da dum got to let you know I'm the top nun here, you can call me the mother superior, dum da da dum da da dum da da dum dum da da dum da da dum da da dum this is called a wimple, I hope you know that. On Amazon they say it's a nun hat. Dump da da dump da da dump da da dump. Father Michael's really fine. Get your eyes off him. He's mine. Dump da da dump da da dump da da dump. Communion wine is very nice. Not as good as Grey Goose vodka on ice. Dump da da dump da da dump. I was I was I was sent I was sent to a nun school when I was very small. It's had a lasting effect on me. And, uh, anyway, I've uh, I've somehow managed I've somehow managed to, to get through all that I wanted to share with you so far, and uh, I'm, I, you deserve a drink, well you've got drinks, I deserve a drink, I'm going to have a shot. Uh, it's not a real shot, it's uh, Lipton's iced tea, but uh, to have a shot, I, I'll wear a bib, just in case, uh, but to have a shot, I need my, my shot glasses, and here they are. I've got my shot glasses, so I can have my shot now, uh, can't see a thing. <laughs> All right, and this, uh, at this point I, well, two things about this, I need you to guide me, the other thing is, uh, can you be quick about it, because uh, it's a couple of years since I did this, and I was, mo I was more agile then, because I got to lean back like this, uh, oh, if I, uh, <laughs> If I do get stuck like this, uh, I hope you carry me down the stairs. Uh, okay, so I'll this is. Hi. Uh, <laughs> huh? The bib's gone. Oh, oh, the bib. Oh dear. Uh, oh. Right, so I, I'm going to, I'm going to do it without a bib. <laughs> going to take a chance. Uh, so here we go. Can I? Uh, yeah. It, can you see? Can you see yeah. where? Further back, is that like that? My left. <laughs> is that it? Oh, good. Uh, is there something there? No. Oh. 
I still want my eye. I got a treat. Oh dear God! Thank you. And uh, I only do, I only I do go my. I only do one glass. I only do one shot glass because I did before. I did actually fill two, but I was so pleased when I emptied the first one that I that I do this. Hey! <laughs> and I went everywhere. Okay, so that's uh, that's and uh, I uh, I'm going to finish now and. Uh, ask you to join me in my my song of celebration i think you missed the song of celebration just before you came in perhaps uh so uh join me in singing i shall sing it once and then you can all join in it's a two poo day and i'm feeling very chuffed three is just too many and one is never enough when you get to my age you have to celebrate the small things in life and anyway so you understand that chuffed is a as a kind of a, a posh word, a hove word, for very pleased with what I've done. <laughs> it's a two poo day and I'm feeling very chuffed. Three is just too many and one is never enough. Hooray! Thank you very much.